If you're considering buying a TIG welder, you may not be familiar with all the features and advantages of a machine like this digital TIG from Eastwood. These include 2T and 4T modes, pulse, AC frequency control, a spot weld timer, and the ability to program and save settings. Let's take a look at these features and show you how easy they are to use and why you may want them for your welding applications. We'll start with 2T and 4T modes. For the best control, you'll typically want to use the foot pedal to control the amperage, but there are cases where you'll want to use the trigger on the torch. Remember, the foot pedal allows you to control the amperage as you weld, where the torch trigger is basically an on and off switch. But with this TIG, you do have more torch control. When using the torch, you have two options, 2T and 4T modes. The T stands for touches. 2T is two touches, which is standard torch control. When you press the trigger, the machine goes to the amperage you've selected and you're able to weld until you release the trigger. In this mode, you can also set the ramp up time of the amperage. That means you can set the time it takes for the machine to get to the welding amperage so you don't get it all at once, which helps prevent blow through and thin metal. When you're finished welding, release the trigger and the arc will ramp down and terminate. In 4T mode, there's four touches. Press the trigger and the machine will start an arc at your predetermined start amperage and it will stay there until you release the trigger. Then the machine will slope up to the set working amperage and stay there while you weld until you press the trigger again. At this time, the amperage will slope down to the ending amperage, then terminate when the trigger is finally released. The advantage of 4T is that you can preheat the material with the starting amperage, then ramp up to your working amperage and weld. Now let's take a look at the pulse settings, which is the feature that really makes this unit stand out. This digital TIG has both AC and DC pulse settings. Remember, DC is for welding steel and AC is for welding aluminum. This feature allows you to control the arc by fluctuating the amperage up and down. If you watch someone TIG weld and they're repeatedly moving the pedal up and down at a steady pace, they're basically doing their own pulse. You can program this digital TIG to do this for you automatically with exact precision. You're able to control the minimum and maximum amperage along with how frequently and how long the pulse takes place. This is useful when you're welding thin material where you want to minimize distortion, prevent blow through, or focus an arc on the edge of a piece of metal. It's also great for precision work like roll cages. It allows you to precisely dial in the machine and use the torch trigger rather than continually working the foot pedal to control the amperage. But you can still use the foot pedal, which is nice when you need less heat, like if you're getting near the end of a piece of metal and it's getting hot, you can let off the pedal to lower the amperage. This TIG really makes it easy to program because it's easy to understand since you can see the settings as a chart rather than a bunch of individual knobs. Let's show you how easy it is to program pulse. To set pulse for welding steel, select DC TIG. Then select your other standard parameters like pre-flow, high frequency start, and torch control. Now set the starting amperage and upslope time. We'll set the peak amperage and pulse percentage, which is what the pulse feature will perfectly control. With DC pulse, you'll now set the pulse frequency and pulse ratio. The pulse frequency is how often per second this pattern happens. So if you set it to one, this pattern will happen one time each second. Pulse ratio is the ratio of the peak amperage to the minimum amperage. So if you set it at 80%, it will be at the peak 80% of the time, and then the lower amperage, 20%. Or, 8 tenths of a second on peak, then 2 tenths of a second on the lower amperage, and then it will repeat the cycle. Finally, program your standard ending settings like post flow, which only occur when you release the trigger or let off the foot pedal. With everything set, you're ready to weld. Through the lens, you can actually see the pulse feature in action as the metal is welded, giving you that look of stacked dimes everyone wants. In AC mode, you also have the ability to set AC frequency and AC balance. Basically, this is going to allow you to control the arc shape, penetration, and cleaning when welding aluminum. The digital TIG also has mixed pulse. In many cases while welding aluminum with low amperages, the arc can be difficult to stabilize. So this machine adds a DC pulse while welding to do just that, stabilize your arc. Now let's move on to the spot weld timer. The timer is great for spot welds, plug welds, or for running short beads and can be programmed from zero to five seconds. After selecting the spot weld timer, set the pre-flow and post-flow like usual. Then program the amount of time you want to weld. Then set the amperage. Now you're ready to start spot welding, making the same quality welds every time. 
Finally, let's check out the programming option of this machine. This welder also comes with the ability to program up to 15 settings to make welding setup quicker and easier. It even comes with five settings pre-programmed for many standard materials, which is great to get you started. To add a preset, simply program the settings for the material you're welding and select loading. The next time you're welding that material, simply select the preset with a push of the knob, making it quick and easy to retrieve those settings and start welding. As you can see, the Eastwood TIG 200 Digital has all the features you not only want, but need in a quality machine. Plus a rocker style foot pedal and WP17 flex head torch, as well as the ability to weld steel and aluminum up to one quarter of an inch. And don't forget the Eastwood three year warranty and money back guarantee. And Eastwood has a bunch of videos on YouTube that teach beginners, as well as videos that show advanced techniques, making learning the TIG weld easier than ever. For more information or to get your welder today, click the button to visit eastwood.com.